Well, bonjour mes amis and hello my friends. We are going to plant some fruit trees. Yes siree. So this is our chosen spot for our new uh, forest garden that we're going to begin work on. Watched a really cool video and the guy said uh, the absolute best time to grow a fruit tree is seven years ago. The next best time is today. And so uh, I thought that was really good advice. I ran into town, grabbed two apple trees and uh, we're gonna get started here. So I went ahead and dug a hole and uh, it's, it's pretty good soil. It, I think it'll be just fine. We made our hole square as per advice that we'd read. Oh, what do you got there, Gertie? Here, do you want me to throw that? So anyway, they say that a square hole is best uh, rather than a round hole. A round hole might cause root balling. A square hole uh, does not. So that's what we're gonna go with. Got some instructions there. Uh, we'll have to read those. Okay, so we got some instructions here. Dig a hole larger than the root ball. Put a layer of loose soil in the hole. Place the root ball in the hole. The start of the stem at ground level. Backfill with half soil and half planting mix and fertilizer. Undo the burlap knot. Pull the burlap back a few inches from the stem, push it into the soil, and backfill until the burlap is completely covered. Tap gently and water thoroughly. Mulch around the plant to hold in the moisture. Stake the tree for the first year to help it firmly establish. The end. <laughs> the end. Perfect. Okay, so we have made ourselves a hole bigger than the tree. We're in the process of uh, mixing up the soil, or enriching it a little bit. Uh, I have some bone meal and uh, yeah, let the festivities begin. <laughs> okay, shovel, check. Rake, check. Hammer, check. Steaks, check. Chicken, check. Oh, chicken? Did somebody say chicken? <laughs> drive some stakes in on the either corner so that this will uh, get staked off and uh, be nice and secure. We have to put some fencing in too to keep the rabbits away. So that's a consideration. Well we've removed it from the bucket there and I'm just gonna take a peek here and see what we have. Did they say to peel this back or did you plant this on the, and only a few inches? So you peel it down a few inches? No, 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 no. You you leave it in the sack? You plant this first. Right. Untied. Right. Then you only pull it back a few inches. So you leave the root ball and everything yes. in the sack. I know I'm not following the rules, but I wanted to take a peek inside here. Just checking that for height. I think it's pretty good. Okay, so we have our stakes in place. Just got to get the bone meal. And throw the chicken. New shrubs. Use nine tablespoons in the planting hole. Cover with one inch of soil. Plant the shrub. Established shrubs apply around. Oh, that's not established. Yeah, that's an established, and then we apply around it. Okay. And the Canadian Tire, a fellow saw me grab these trees. He said, Hey, can I give you a suggestion? He said, Make sure you put bone meal underneath and then fill them in and then sprinkle bone meal on top. And uh, so then I got home and unloaded my, uh, my trees, and uh, my neighbor was here, and I asked him if he knew anything about. Uh, planting apple trees and he said well uh, put bone meal on the bottom plant it and then put bone meal on the top so that seems to be it they said what nine tablespoons so that's the guy said sprinkle some so we're gonna sprinkle about nine, nine tablespoons. tablespoons yeah all right well that looks good the top looks even yeah so I'm pleased with the placement of that. I think that's, that should be good. So yes, we have a red 
Gravenstein apple tree. It says it grows to a height of five meters. The bloom is white. The spread is five meters, and it's a zone two. What do you think? Awesome. I tried to set it so that it was, uh, you know, parallel or vertical, I should say. What do you think? All right. So what are the instructions? The burlap knot. Okay. Oh, we have no. Place the root ball in the hole, the start of the stem at ground level. Okay, check. Backfill with half soil and half planting mix and fertilizer. Then undo the knot. Okay. And pull the burlap back a few inches from the stem. Push it into the soil and backfill until the burlap is completely covered. Okay, interesting. Okay, that's, that's what we'll do. But first, we're going to throw the chicken! Oh, did you do bone meal at the bottom? Yes. Yes, I did the bone meal. Just a few inches? Yep. And there he is. There he is. So we're just taking the mesh here and peeling it back a few inches. And we are pushing it into the soil. Oh yeah, push it into the soil. Alright, so I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yes, sir. -y. Read about the characteristics of the red grab and gravenstein. Very flavorful, crisp, juicy, for fresh eating. Sauce and pies. Nice. Vigorous tree. Fruit will ripen in late July or early August. Zone three. Ah. Not zone two. So we need to choose the placement of our next tree, Sue. Oh yes, we'll put bone meal on top, yeah. And it was like half as much. It's a beautiful thing. You want to give it a hug? <laughs> nice. My new baby. Yeah. Welcome to Paragi Paradi Gardens. Welcome, bienvenue. We're just trying to choose our next location. Just sort of walking around, hoping to feel it, you know? <laughs> Okay, so the the Graven, Gravenstein. The Gravenstein is a triploid apple cultivar that originated in the 17th century or earlier. The fruit has a tart flavor in the northern hemisphere. It is picked no, it has a tart flavor in the northern hemisphere. It is picked in July and August and is heavily used as a cooking apple, especially for applesauce and apple cider. Yeah, so I'm thinking I like this spot here. We're trying to get full sun. Now, these do some shading. Um, but by 11 o'clock, it's, it's pretty much full all the way in here. Maybe even 10 o'clock. Well, here's the soil that we have. Doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna just dig that out and mix it up. And uh, the uh, the grass we're using is fill to fill in divots. So this is the black earth we're mixing in with the the soil that's here. We're just augmenting the soil a little bit. It's nice stuff. All right, so we put a little bit of the augmented soil in there and some bone meal. There's five tablespoons. And there is a total of eight and two more for 10. 
one more than I'm supposed to. <laughs> Very nice. I like it. I think it's wonderful. Yeah. Perfect. Want to sprinkle about five tablespoons around. Voila! Earth. Beautiful watering. Oh yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here, take the camera because I'm going to hug it. Welcome to Parody Garden, my friend. Yes. I can't see anything no. again. No, oh, it's happening. It's recording. Just trust. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, so it's a semi-dwarf Gravenstein apple. Gravenstein. Red Gravenstein apple tree. Hey, that's a good idea. There you go. Did you do the other one too? Yeah. Oh, smart. There, we got a label in the garden. <laughs> That's perfect. Well, if I was a Gravenstein, this is where I'd want to be, right here. <laughs> 